So here's the deal with instantized creatine. It's basically just creatine monohydrate that has been created into a very fine powder. Well, it's creatine monohydrate. Yes, it does work. Again, it is creatine monohydrate. So the question is, does it work better? You know, the major claim they have is that, that it has higher solubility. And then they claim that leads to better absorption and all these other benefits. Well, here's the problem with that. Higher solubility just means it mixes well in water. That does not have a direct effect on the ability for your body to absorb it. You know, let's remember your body is absorbing creatine from steak and salmon. At the same time, creatine monohydrate have around a 99% absorption rate anyways. Effectively increases creatine stores by, you know, between 20 to 40%, basically filling up your creatine stores. Basically, the only possible issue is gastral issues for sensitive people and that can possibly be fixed with, you know, a higher soluble. But in today's market, micronized creatine has become the norm and I think that's perfectly fine. It it's cheap, really no reason to pay so much more for this new instantized. I'm gonna link an article below, go check that out. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later.